Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Martin with The Contour Chemist. Welcome to my hideous bathroom. Can you guess what we're gonna talk about today? My favorite subjects, of course. And I had to talk about it today because it is all about the giveaway, baby. So, if you wanna check out what we're going to be talking about, hint, hint, uh, please keep watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for being here. Hey friends, did you guess what we're talking about? Skincare, baby. I put together this giveaway it is actually the last day. I kind of save the best for last because if you are new here, you might not realize I am a skincare junkie, but I was not <laughs> a few years ago before I started using this line. I didn't even like wash my face consistently, but this skincare line changed my skin forever. So um, I talk about a lot of skincare now, but this is always and forever going to be my core system. And I realize I've never done a whole video showing all of Saint's skincare line and explaining kind of some tips and tricks on how to use it all. Mm -hmm. Kind of things I've discovered through the years of playing so, out about today's giveaway. I had to make it a good one. AKA all the skincare we make. <laughs> So, if you're new to Saint, um, welcome. This is where the magic happens, right here. You know, I always say, like, your makeup can only be as good as your skincare. It's truly hard to, a million times harder to try to cover your skin with makeup than it is just to invest in your skin. And I feel like it's almost New Year's. I felt like um, I totally used to make a resolution every year. Okay, this is the year I'm gonna get a great skincare routine and I'm going to use it all year. And then I'd buy all this stuff and then I'd never use it. And so this is the first line I've ever consistently used because it's truly really easy. And then once I realized how much different it made my skin, I started investing in some other things as well. So I'm gonna kind of show you how you can add to it, but this is all about the Saint skincare line. Okay, so we do have, this is what the giveaway is gonna have, okay? The cleanser, okay? The toner, okay? And the cream. I would say these are what you get in the skincare collection, and that one, two, three punch is like, where I would recommend starting. If you truly can only start with one, the cream. The cream is what I started with. We didn't even have an entire line. Um, when I became an artist, they only had the cream and this is truly all it took to balance my skin consistently using this. If you buy the skincare collection as a whole, you actually get these for free. These are the microfiber wipes. Let me just tell you, these are also a game changer, especially for me as a lash fi wearer and having to be a little bit more strategic about how I wash my face. I love those. And then some add-on items I'm gonna share. Oh gosh, isn't that to knock stuff over with this giant box, um, which are both newer in the collection is the refresh wipes. Okay, and I'll explain how I use those. And then also the Saint mask more of like a treatment thing. So there you go. You're gonna get all of it. So if you have been wanting to try our skincare, be sure to look in the description box below the video to see how you can win all of it as my very last and final day for my 12 days of giveaways. Okay, so I just warning you, those are all brand new. Obviously they're the new packages since we rebranded, but I had stockpiled. I had stockpiled other packaging that we no longer have anymore. <laughs> of course I have to use it up, right? So all of my personal collection do not match that, but if you're looking on the website, 
everything is gray now. We used to have two lines and they really simplify stuff. Everything is just in one line, one scent. We no longer have two. So if you're looking for milk cream, that's used to be what we would call it with, back when we were mascara beauty, but now it's just the same cream, okay? So it no longer says the word milk. If you guys can read that on any of the packaging. I know I've been getting questions about that lately. So I have all the old packaging because this scent was my favorite and sadly it got discontinued. So just a heads up, mine look different. The gray ones are correct, okay? Okay, first we're gonna talk about the Refresh Whites. This has the old logo. And I realize I really don't talk about these a lot. Um, I will be honest, I feel like if you're wanting to just do a first step in the cleanse. So you guys know me all the time I'll do like a double cleanse to where I'll either use a balm or a wipe to take off my makeup. Then I will wash my face with the cleanser. Okay, so this I would say is not really the best option for that because this is technically an all-in-one. So I wouldn't necessarily buy this as a first step, if that makes sense. Can you use it as a first step? Absolutely. But for me, it's a little bit pricey for something that I'm gonna use for a first step. Um, I save these for when multiple things, when I'm either lazy, we all have those nights, we just don't wanna remove our makeup. This literally will do it all, okay? So it's got the cleanser, and the toner all in one, and you don't rinse it off, okay? This is designed so that you can remove makeup with it, eye makeup, everything cleanses the skin, it tones the skin, and then all you have to do is follow it up with your milk cream and you are good to go. So I really like these to travel with, and I really like these as like my lazy nights, or if you're one that likes to cleanse in the morning, this is really good as like a just one step Kind of wipe the pad over your face to make sure you get off any remaining oil from overnight and then follow it up with your favorite either serums or sunscreen and you are good to go in the morning so i'm just going to kind of show you um they are very generous sized pads all right which i really like um they're not like i know some face wipes on the market are like super dry almost and i feel like they just don't do much but these are really large. You get 50, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda use this as like my first step. So let's just act like this is morning time and I need to kinda cleanse and exfoliate. So it does have our Saint cleanser in it, so it will exfoliate. I feel like some mornings, I'm not one to always do a full cleanse in the morning. I don't feel like it's necessary for my skin type. But some mornings I wake up and I'm like, I feel like I need some exfoliation. This is a really good way because it still has that lactic acid that all of our skincare has. So the reason why it used to be called milk is because all of our skincare has a natural milk component. Um, crazy enough, I've gotten these questions before, but it is not from humans <laughs> or cows. It's from goat's milk. But just so you know, it has that milk component. So milk naturally has lactic acid in it. If you don't know what lactic acid is, it is, is an AHA. So you can actually buy it by itself, but it's similar like glycolic acid. It is an uh, alpha hydroxy acid, meaning it is an exfoliant. It's gonna kind of like help break up that dead skin, new skin cells, beautiful glowing skin cells. If you have a trouble, if you have trouble with your skin getting that kind of natural glow, you need an acid exfoliator in your life. Don't be scared by the word acid. Um, but lactic acid is actually the most gentle of all of the AHAs. So it's a great place to start. It is something that I feel like you can use every day. If you have mature skin, dry skin, normal skin, sensitive skin can all use it. And I do recommend glycolic a lot, but I'll be honest, guys, this is the strongest of all the AHAs. And this is something that you have to baby step your way into using. Like you gotta start off like once a week, then a couple times a week, 
and it can really dry out your skin. Whereas lactic acid is something you can jump right into. And especially our life, it's not a pure 100% lactic acid. Obviously there's other things in it, but you're getting that exfoliation with every simple step that you're doing in your routine. So I like using this on mornings that I feel like I just need a little bit of help before I put down my serums and sunscreen. Okay, it does remove eye makeup, so it's great for those mornings. I'm always very like, let's get, if you have hyperpigmentation, again, acid exfoliators, you're never gonna see that lighten up unless you're using an acid of some sort. Okay, so the great thing about this is that I can literally just put on my sunscreen, I'll be good to go. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys all of it, but that is our refresh wipes. They are so good and I don't feel like, I feel like there's like, I feel just as refresh, <laughs> hence the name refresh, but my skin feels just as clean as when I use my milk cleanser and I feel like that is not the case with all wipes on the market. This one is really good if you're looking for one. But like I said, as like a, if you're using just a wipe twice a day, like once in the morning, once at night, you're gonna go through this really fast. I don't think I'd necessarily use it for that. I use it for more like when you're ready to just kind of do a one step. Just save it for the morning or just do it on those lazy nights or when travel. They are really good to have in your arsenal. Okay, let's get into the main three steps, all right? Because this is what I get the most questions on, kind of how to use it, all of those things, because this is very different as far as a cleanser goes. So if you've used a milk-based cleanser before, you might kind of understand how different it is. So it won't actually suds up. There's no sulfates to where it's really gonna bubble up and it's not a foaming type cleanser like some of those on the market. It literally looks like milk and it is in a spray bottle, okay? So the gray bottles look identical, they work the same. And what I do is I recommend using it on a dry face. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really recommend using this type of cleanser in the way you would a foaming cleanser that you can just simply splash your face with water and try to remove it. The milk based cleanser, I feel like almost absorbs a little bit into the skin, therefore meaning it's a little bit harder to remove, okay? So one of the things I've noticed through the years that if people aren't using something like a washcloth or a microfiber cloth to remove it is that they're not adequately removing the cleanser and that can cause them to break out. I actually get far less breakouts with this cleanser than I used to past cleanser. But in fact, this line was developed because our founder actually had issues with acne and this is the only thing that ever cleared her acne. So it's amazing for acne because it's gonna help that skin cell turnover and it's gonna actually kind of push out all the clogged pores underneath the skin that you can't even see yet. So I, would, I always tell people, always use a new system at least six to eight weeks before giving up on it. Um, that's about the time it takes you for all of those things beneath the surface that you don't see to get pushed out, okay? So that, that is just true across the board with any kind of new system, especially if your issue is acne, okay? So, but I have seen that if people aren't removing it correctly and it's normally around the hairline where you're not really good about rinsing, um, that you might get little breakouts, that is your clue that you're not fully removing your cleanser. And that's the number one thing that's gonna cause you to actually break out. Um, the ingredients will not. Okay, so I shake it up, okay? And then I'm going to put out the ball in my hand because it is very liquidy. I like to do three to four sprays. One, two, three, okay? Any more than that I feel like is unnecessary, but you'll see it is, like pure, it's just like, it's pure liquid, right? Okay, so I'm gonna rub it in my hands and I'm gonna distribute it across my entire face. Now, this will remove eye makeup so you can totally use it all over your eyes. If you wear Lashify, do not because your lashes will come off. But 
I am going to just, and I, and I sometimes like will put, if I'm wearing eye makeup, put it all the way up to my lashes, but so it will remove eye makeup. I get that question a lot. If you have to remove that first, I tend to always double cleanse. So if I'm wearing makeup, I will remove my makeup first in some way. Now this will remove makeup. So you can use this twice once to remove the makeup, then once to cleanse the skin, but you can try it as a one step. I always just feel like you're going to miss some makeup that way. Your skin's not going to get as clean. That's just kind of the general case with any cleanser you use. You really need to make sure you're cleaning bare skin. Um, so if you remove your makeup first with something, whether it be a balm, whether it is a cheap, simple wipe that I like to use, then you cleanse the skin, your skin will get way better benefits because you're going to remove any last traces of makeup with this cleanser, but then you're also going to really deliver those ingredients that this has deep into the skin. Okay. So if you look like you can't see anything on my face, I feel like I rubbed in a lotion. Okay. Don't, don't leave it like this. Um, you really got to remove it. So the game changer for me was these bad boys. Okay. So you will get a set of three. You can buy these separately as well. Um, I get warm water. Okay. First I'm going to rinse off my hands and I did start with clean hands. I always try to kind of mention that. Remember if you're using your hands to apply anything, whether it's a serum, whether it's your cleanser and you have dirty hands, you're just going to be putting that dirt on the face. So I feel like it's sometimes I think it's common sense, but something that sometimes people don't think about, wash your hands first, then apply anything to your skin. Now that my microfiber cloth is fully wet, not dripping. Okay. What I like to do is I like to use one side of it and I'm going to start removing the cleanser. And then I move to a clean spot. Okay, and I'm just doing a pass everywhere first. And this, these cloths are so good guys. They're super soft, yet they're exfoliating at the same time. My skin never has been more exfoliated until I used this line and learned how important it is to actually exfoliate. Okay, but again, you already are getting that lactic acid exfoliation, that gentle exfoliation, which I feel like one of the reasons why I recommend this cleanser to almost everybody is because a milk-based cleanser is one of the gentlest, gentlest, is that a word? Gentle, gent, most gentle, there you go. Most gentle cleansing of any of the types of cleansers on the market. Okay, um, a lot of foamy, foaming cleansers strip the skin. Um, so that means if you're oily and you're using a foaming cleanser, you're actually stripping off all that oil. If you're dry, it's going to dry you out more. Um, so usually if you look it up, milk cleansers are recommended for um, combination skin and mature skin, which is why I feel like this helped me balance my skin. Um, it's all about the pH. That's the toner, not the cleanser. It's all about the pH and then that gentle exfoliation. You're not over cleansing. You're not over exfoliating. You're balancing and yet it's very moisturizing at the same time because of those other ingredients. It's got A, vitamin A, E, and even a retinol. Now I'll talk about retinols in a minute when we talk about this. Everything from honey, which is actually antimicrobial and will help with breakouts to avocado oil, which is moisturizing, witch hazel, which is again, um, like an astringent. So there's a lot of really balancing properties within just our cleanser alone. Um, and that's why the combo of all three really is such a game changer. Okay. So I'm going to flip over my cloth and I'm going over it again. Okay. I feel like this is a part that a lot of people just don't do is really make sure it's all removed. And I just take it as another exfoliation step, which as you age, you can't get too much of 
gentle exfoliation because our skin cells, oh my gosh, stop turning over, or don't stop, but they slow down skin cell turnover so much. Okay, so down the neck. Okay, so now I am completely lost myself tan, but my skin is really clean, really exfoliated, and I don't have that tight feeling, okay? So if you are finishing your skincare regimen and your face feels tight, that is your sign that you're using a cleanser way too harsh, okay? Try a gentler cleanser. You should never feel like you just stripped all of your skin of its natural oil. So that is the cleanser. I'll be honest, I mainly just use this at night. So I'll remove my makeup, then I'll use the cleanser to cleanse my skin. Um, if you feel like you are really oily, I would say that would be the only time I'd recommend using this also in the morning. It is gentle enough to use twice a day. I feel like normal skin uh, doesn't, and, and dry skin does not need to use a cleanser twice a day. If you are dry, I would try just using even a microfiber cloth just with water um, and kind of using that to remove any excess oil that's come out overnight. Um, same with normal skin. If you feel like you really do need something, try a wipe. You can use something like a refresh wipes. Oily skin might benefit from using um, oily skin or if you're really prone to breaking out and you feel like you're just, you wake up oily, then I'd say try to use that to kind of get that oil off before putting on your makeup. All right, the next step is toner. So I will be, you guys know I'm always completely honest. I'm honest, I don't use this every day. I don't recommend starting with this every day. Um, I recommend trying it once a week, then moving up to two weeks and see how your skin tolerates it. Um, I feel like it's probably better for oily skin to use more often than that. Um, it can be a little bit drying and I think it's just because of the witch hazel. Um, if you've ever used just straight witch hazel, which is what I used as a toner before I did this and that's probably why my, my skin was so combo. Um, I was over stripping certain areas, so I was dry in some areas, oily in others. This is all about balancing, okay? The whole line will balance your pH. So this is actually my favorite hack for sunburns. Um, sunburns, um, even like bug bites. I don't know, something about this will take the burn out and it works so well. So I do spray this on my kids if they happen to get burnt. Luckily that's not very often because I'm kind of crazy about SPF, but um, it has happened, mostly my husband who doesn't listen to me about sunscreen. And he also really likes this as an aftershave. <laughs> so it does work in various ways. So it is multi-purpose. Um, again, it's in a sprayer and you can just simply mist it all over your face or you can put it on a cotton pad. Okay. And then just put it across the skin. So I still do use this. If you're feeling oily, then I'd say go ahead and use it again. I feel like I never get oily anymore in the summer. I might feel like I'm a little bit more so just naturally with heat and humidity here in the Midwest, but this stuff is gold if you really need that um, extra toning, okay? So that is the toner. Again, start with one to two times a week if you're brand new to it and just kind of work your way up and see how your skin tolerates it. Everybody's skin is so different. I know I sound like a broken record, I say that a million times, but it's so true. So normally on a nightly basis, I cleanse. Um, if it's my toner night, I will tone, and then I go in with my serums. And you guys know I'm a serum junkie, okay? It doesn't matter the order as long as you are going based on thickness of the serum. So the more watery your serum is, you want to put that on first. The thicker the serum, the thicker the serum, you want to put those on last, okay? You can go crazy, okay? As long as it is not an acid serum, which they do make, okay? Acid serums, you have to be careful what you're using with it. Like you don't want to go in with an acid and then another acid. You can really, um, 
make your skin a little bit too sensitized that way and irritate it and cause inflammation. That's the last thing we want to do with our skin. We're trying to make it better. Not work. Anything as far as niacinamides, um, hyaluronic acids, um, say anti-aging for the most part, all of those. If you're using a retinol, obviously, to vary your retinols with your acids. But these, I don't consider a strong acid. I have never had issues using our system, which has lactic acid in it, also has retinol in it. But if you remember my retinol video, retinol, retinol. the kind of hierarchy of what is a strong retinol, retinoid versus what is weaker and that forth. This has a retinol derivative. So it is not strong, meaning you can use this and you can use any kind of retinol you have. It's not gonna affect it. It's not like it's gonna give you more irritation or anything like that. The same goes with acids. You can still use this. It's got lactic acid in it, but it, you're not putting a 100% pure lactic acid serum on your face you could use a glycolic acid toner or or an acid serum. You just don't want to use 100% with another 100% if that makes sense. Like I'm going to use a straight up acid here and then I'm going to add another acid and then I'm going to use other acid and I'm going to throw a retinol in there. Then you're going to have irritation and you're not going to like yourself. Okay. When it comes to serums or a retinol, you can go ahead and add retinol here. Um, depending on the consistency of your retinol, I would say if it's a cream, you want to add your serums first, then your retinol. If you're using something else with a thinner consistency, you might add your retinol and then your serums. Again, thinnest to thickest in this part, and you can apply whatever you want, okay? A little my graphic in here that kind of shows you what not to mix with what what is good for what all of those things I consider those like additional add-ons this is my core system everything else is based on what my skin is doing that day and what I want result wise this keeps me really healthy balanced skin I was like I said before super combo oily and dry and now my skin is completely normal and balanced and never felt better but I still want to give my routine a little jump start because you guys know my goal in life is aging backwards I love skincare so I love playing with new products but I'm always using this system and then I'm just adding serums in for the results I want so I always say pick one area of concern Keep, stick with your core system, pick one area of concern, and then pick a serum for that. You can slowly build your regimen based on how in-depth you want in your skincare routine. Some people love that this is just one to two steps, cleanse, moisturize, or cleanse, tone, moisturize. And if that's all that you know that you can keep up with, this will give you results, I promise. If you're like me and wanna be like, okay, I'm gonna see what else I can get result-wise, then I would say start with a vitamin C. This is not vitamin C. A vitamin C in the morning. May love the Glow Maker. I love that one. For my Canadian lovelies, um, I like the Vici. Okay. Vitamin C in the morning. Sunscreen always. Okay. That's your morning routine. If you are like me and really want to kind of anti-age then I would say for your cream one thing you can do is add a retinol okay there's been more studies on what a retinoid sorry not a retinol this is a retinaldehyde of what that can do for your skin than any other skincare on the market okay don't believe all the marketing claims they're kind of crazy but a retinoid can give you the best results and then all the other serums are kind of more based on other things like hydration or um, sensitivity or hyperpigmentation, all of those things, okay? So those are my two definite add-ons. I would say if you're really wanting to boost this, add a vitamin C in the morning, 
and add a retinoid at night and you will be golden, okay? And you don't have to worry about anything mixing because the you don't have you won't be mixing any other products, okay? You don't want to use a vitamin C and a retinoid at the same time in the same regimen, so both at night, anything like that. Vitamin C in the morning, retinoid at night, you're good. Okay, so normally add my serums, whatever the heck I, I want, depending on my skin that day, then I lock it in with my milk cream. This is my holy grail. I will never use another cream. Trust me, I have some sitting on the counter that I've been sent that I've tried. They're okay, but nothing compares to this. It's liquid gold. It is incredible. Okay, so I normally lock it in with this. I'm going to skip this right now and I'm gonna show you our mask because again, it's something I don't talk about very much. It's very similar. It's also in an airless pump. This is the old packaging. And it is more of like a it's very similar to a lot of the other products within the line. It, you know, has a lot of the same ingredients like honey and allotoin and the the, the milk cultures. But it's got a enzyme, okay? It's like fruit enzyme exfoliators, okay? So it's again, a gentle exfoliator. And you use it, again, to give yourself moisture and exfoliation. So I'll be honest, I feel like it works best in a pretty generous layer. I'm pretty generous with it, at least especially on my forehead where in the winter it tends to need more exfoliation and my nose, I feel like you guys probably know what I'm talking about. In the winter, your skin just changes. All the heat is on in every building and you need that, okay? So I put it on in a generous layer and I would say the very first time you use this, don't leave it on very long, okay? So this is much more gentle than something like the peel, the AHA, BHA peel. Those are much stronger. Um, this is gentler, but I still leave it on less time than I use that. I don't know what it is, um, but until your skin is used to any particular ingredient, I always say it's on the side of caution and just leave it on a few minutes and then wipe it off. Okay, so it tells you about five minutes. I would say start with three. I've even seen some artists leave it on 10. I'd say don't do that until you've tried it a few times to ski, to ski, to see how your skin reacts. Um, I tend to have very, I don't wanna say sensitive skin, but I do have skin that tends to pull red when I put any kind of acid or enzyme exfoliator on it. So I know my skin, I'm gonna do it about three to five minutes and I should be good. Okay, then I'm gonna use the same microfiber cloth, um, or sorry, the same type, this one's clean, <laughs> um, to remove it and I'm just gonna wipe it off. Again, this isn't something I would try to rinse with water. You really want, it's like the same cream consistency you really want to make sure you get it all off or you're going to feel not burning, but you're going to feel that enzyme action still going if you don't fully remove it. Okay, same thing. I'm going to flip it to the other side and just make sure I don't, I probably should have got it over my neck. My neck needs some exfoliation today. And I missed a spot. When in doubt, go over everything twice. Oh my gosh, okay. And then you can feel your face and feel that it feels like baby's bottom. And it's so soft. <laughs> so this is super hydrating as well as exfoliating. So um, if you're dry skin, combination skin, it'll help balance as well. Um, definitely for mature skin. I feel like it's one of my favorites. Okay. So now that my skin is beautimous, I'm going to lock it in with my milk cream. So 
Um, I think mine's almost out. Let's see. Normally it... Uh. So quick tip, if you've never heard of what... <laughs> I always laugh every time I, a client has an issue and I tell them to burp it, but it's called burping. You literally... Spank it on the bottom a few times and it gets out air bubbles and then more comes out. So then you can distribute it. So I need more than this and I think I'm about out. So these do open. I don't recommend opening them because this is an airless pump so it stays bacteria free. It's always clean. And once you open it, it's no longer airless. But you can see I don't have much left. Okay, but then you can open it and you can get out every last drop, which I'm not going to waste any milk cream. That's for sure. Okay, so dot it. Okay, so I only use milk cream at night. This is, I consider a night cream. It is a heavy cream. Um, and I find that most people that, unless you have very, I'd say, very, very dry skin. I wouldn't recommend it during the day, okay? Use your fingers to apply it, not your palms. It'll get absorbed into the dry skin on your palms. So there's your fingers, okay? Um, I It does, if you looked at the ingredients, it does have a silicone in it, okay? It's not high up on the ingredient list. It's kind of in the middle towards the bottom. It only has one, but I have had um, clients with issues of longevity using this under their makeup. Again, I've seen a lot of people use it under their makeup. I say I wouldn't try it in the day unless you truly need so much hydration because it is so moisturizing. Like I will wake up if I if it was nighttime and I was about to go to bed, I would wake up and I would still feel hydrated. That is how hydrating this is. So like I said before, it does have a retinoid derivative, meaning it is going to increase even more skin cell turnover. It does have that milk culture. Again, lactic acid, natural lactic acid, and so many hydrating components. So if you have dry skin, I feel like my dry skin clients are the ones that love this more than anyone and the ones that love the balance. So um, I think I said a little bit before, but before, we did not have the entire line. We only had this. And I think it took maybe two to three months of me just cleansing with a normal foaming cleanser, whatever it was, and using this every single night, like consistently, my skin balanced. Something about the properties of this just will balance your pH. And I don't feel like a lot of people understand pH with the skin. And truly that is, I always thought skin type was something you are born with. You can't change it, but it's not all hereditary or genetic. A lot of that can be altered based on the products you're using and how you're treating your skin. Kind of learning what your skin feels like when the balance gets thrown off, okay? Whether you are stripping it or using, I don't feel like using too much hydration is Ever a bad thing. A lot of oily skin is caused by not moisturizing and so your your body is actually producing excess oil to try to hydrate the skin. So learning like knowing the skin's properties can tell you a lot but it's hard to know those things as normal human beings right unless you've been taught them. So this sucker is amazing. All right so one lucky person gets to try all of it and I can't wait to hear your skin is transformed. I love getting messages from you guys talking about how you're already seeing results in your skincare regimen from doing it such a short amount of time. It literally makes my day. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking. That was long enough. If you have any questions over how to use the Saint skincare system, please let me know. I feel like I didn't talk much about the ingredients in science like I normally do because I was trying to be quiet, but I still talked way too long. This is the perfect way to start the new year with a new skincare regimen that you can actually stick to, right? Because that's important. If you can't stick to it, you might as well not even try to use it. Consistency is key when it comes to skincare 
and skincare is number one when it comes to making your makeup look better. So if you're wanting to improve the texture of your skin, holy moly, just try this. I promise you will see the biggest difference. I know I did it. All right, friends, don't forget to enter that giveaway below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Love you.